Welcome once again to Foundation of Faith. This is class one, the new creation reality. And now we'll be taking the last section of the class, who we are in Christ Jesus. Bible says that if anybody is in Christ Jesus, is a new creation. All things are passed away, everything has become new. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So the entire class is helping us to understand who this new creation is and what we have gained, this incredible blessing that we have access to by virtue of our faith in Jesus and by virtue of his grace towards us. Philemon, it has just one chapter, verse 6. It says that the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So I haven't gone through the class understanding where we were before and understanding the fallen nature of man and how God showed his love, his mercy, his grace towards us and delivered us. Now that I am a Christian, how do I experience everything that is mine in Christ Jesus? You know, sometimes you think about it and say, the Bible says a lot of things that are my right as a Christian. So how come when I look at the life of this brother and the life of that other brother, sometimes there's a difference in our experiences. How come there are differences in the experience of different Christians when God made all of these things available for us all? And God is not partial. So Philemon is, uh, or Paul is telling us in this book that how do we experience and become effective in faith? He said by acknowledging every good thing. So my job as a new believer or as a Christian right now is going to consistently search for the good things that God has prepared for me in his word. And I do this through the help of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, that the Holy Spirit reveals to us the things that have been freely given to us by God. So what are those things that God has freely given to me? The Holy Spirit brings those things to my memory. The Holy Spirit reveals those things to me. Let's see 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 to 18. So he said, but even to this day, when Moses is right, a veil lies on the heart. Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, have been transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is such a beautiful uh, portion of the scripture. Bible is telling us that speaking about those people, that there is a veil. Sometimes there's a covering on the heart of man where you, you want to study the word of God, you want to gain access into the things of God, but there's a covering. Sometimes those coverings are coming from our experience. That's why the Bible says that the weapon of our warfare are not kana. They are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. So those strongholds are thoughts. These strongholds are mindset, the things that have been built over the years that have made you see yourself in a certain way. But when we come to God, the Bible says that the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So it is with the Holy Spirit that we find freedom to see ourselves the exact way that God has made us. So it's the Holy Spirit that takes us into the scripture despite our own inadequacy, and start to show to us the things that God has freely given to us in our new position as a new creation in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. And what are some of the things that the Holy Spirit has revealed to us that we now know are has in Christ Jesus? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Perfect righteousness. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. So Jesus Christ became a perfect sinner. 
that he may take our place. There was no argument of whether he, he could stand in the position of a sinner. He stood in that position. That we might become the righteousness of God in him. So if there was no argument about Jesus Christ becoming a condemned sinner, there's also no argument in us becoming perfectly righteous as he was. Because it was a substitution. So now I have the perfect righteousness of Christ Jesus. That should make me happy. That should make me forever grateful to God. I have the perfect righteousness of Christ Jesus. I am not a sinner struggling and trying to become perfect. I am one who God has declared perfect that is now learning afresh how to live that life in my reality. Praise the Lord. So I have perfect righteousness. That is where I am already. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. So our new experience right now, we believe what God has said, irrespective of what our own current experience is, and then we start to live that new life by faith. Second is that we are delivered from sin and the power of sin. So God did not only declare us perfect, he also gave us victory over sin. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. He said, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss, we, must, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. So grace does not only save and leave us the same way we were. Grace also gives us the power and starts to teach us to live the godly life that God has in store for us. Praise the Lord. Then final thing that we can see here, but there's a lot that we can start to acknowledge ourselves. As we walk with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will be revealing more and more to us the things that are has in Christ Jesus. But one that I want to point out today again is that you are an overcomer and you reign in life. Romans chapter 5 verse 17. For if by one man's offense death reign through that one man, much more those who have received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. So God declared that our portion right now as new creatures in Christ Jesus is that we reign. Everything that is of Christ has now become ours. We have access into this new life and we live in this abundant life that God has in store for us. So as Philemon said, it is now our responsibility to walk with the Holy Spirit and it will continuously reveal to us the things that are has in Christ Jesus. In our notes, we have uh, documented some scriptures that we call in him scriptures. So in our own personal study, let's spend time to look at those scriptures and try to learn more about what God has said we have. Let's try to learn more who God has said we have. So this is the end of class one. Let's remember that we started by looking at who we were before salvation. Man was dead in sin and trespasses. God, because his love, showed us his mercy. He expressed his grace to us and he delivered us. And we looked at the benefit of this new birth and we concluded by saying that this abundance that we now have in Christ Jesus, we need to continuously walk with the Holy Spirit to reveal those things to us and we need to be conscious of it and continuously acknowledge them as our reality in Christ Jesus.